What is going on everybody? Today we're going to be taking a look at three new exotics coming to title update 11 with the new big update for the Division 2. Now I had early access to play the new game mode Summit and I was really excited to get my hands on these new exotics. So don't worry, I'm going to go in detail on all three exotics now. So the first exotic we're going to get into is the new SMG coming. This thing reminded me a lot of the house um, the MPX, it's a very sick looking gun. Like when you look at this gun visually, it's probably one of the nicest looking um, SMGs in the game. But looks aside, this gun actually performs pretty, pretty good. And I had a lot of fun using it. Now the gameplay you're going to see in a few while I'm using this gun to show you guys some actual gameplay of it. It's going to be playing the early stages of the summits. So that is the gameplay you're going to see. Um, so the difficulty is just based on that level. Now, how does this weapon work? What's so cool about it? So the name is Backfire, and if we look at the base damage on this one, it's at 105,000 total base damage. Now, when I compare this to the Lady Death, the Lady Death is about 85,000, and I'll show you in a second. Now, the RPM is 850 and has a 56-round mag, and that's because it comes with SMG damage, critical hit chance, which all SMGs have, but then the attribute that it comes with is magazine size. So you get a 12% um, greater magazine size, which is actually really good with this weapon. Now, what makes this weapon so cool and so unique is the talent payment in kind. Dealing damage to enemies adds a stack of 1% critical hit damage. Stacks last for 10 seconds and are capped to 200. So you can get up to 200% extra critical hit damage, which is pretty insane. Now, on reload, a 10 second bleed to yourself, which deals. 0.5% armor damage per stack. And I want to show you some gameplay real quick, but I did want to show you the Lady Death compared. So this Lady Death, um, 82,000 damage. And then look at this, this backfire, 105,000. So the big difference in chunk of damage you put out, almost 20,000 more damage. It's pretty crazy, right? So let's take out some gameplay, right? Let's, let's look at some gameplay of this bad boy in action. So here's some gameplay with this bad boy, the backfire. Now, when we take a look at it, um, if you look really closely on the right or left side, depending on if I'm scoped in from the left shoulder or right shoulder, you can see a number stacking. And that is your stack for how much your stack is and how much extra critical hit damage you're going to be getting. Now, when I reload, right, when I reload and I have a stack, that's where you're going to see me start to bleed. So in just a second, you're going to see I reload. And I have a stack, so what that's gonna do is gonna cause me to bleed. So I didn't have a stack there, so did no bleed. There you go. So you see, I had a stack there, so I start to bleed. And that's just what something you have to keep in mind when you're using this weapon. So it is kind of weird to see yourself always go on and have some type of status effect. But I can tell you, I really didn't have any issue. Even as I got into the harder difficulties, based on the type of build you have and stuff like that, it was pretty easy to control. And I felt with the amount of damage that this weapon was putting out, it actually melted. And I actually liked it a lot. I liked it a little bit better than the Lady Death. And I'm, I'm a big fan of the Lady Death. I think it's one of those strong SMGs. But I think this one right here is actually pretty good too. But remember, you do put yourself, you will put yourself on that status effect so that's something you guys have to really um just make sure you're paying attention to but yeah this is the backfire right here this weapon is going to be one of those weapons a lot of people are after and i honestly don't know how you get this one just yet but hopefully in the next couple days um we should find that information out either through the state of the game or through other sources so hopefully um we find out more information on that but yeah that's this weapon in action in all the talents. So let's get into our next exotic. So the next exotic we're going to be getting into is probably one of the nicest looking backpacks I have seen to date. Just look at it, man. Just look at this backpack. Wow, it has two hunter acts with the watches, right? The shade watches on there. So he's been killing a lot of agents. Um, so it's kind of cool to see this kind of backpack and us getting this. Now, this is called the Momentum. Now, what's really nice about this backpack, just look at this. It has three core attributes and no no um, other attributes. So it comes with weapon damage, armor, and skill tier, which is crazy, right? We have nothing that can roll like this. So this is going to make this backpack that unique. It has weapon damage, 
armor and skill tier a rainbow roll but core rainbow roll which is cool it has an empty gear mod slot so that's where you can put that red yellow or blue um mod on there but the talent is, was what makes this actually really good and i think a lot of people might actually pull this backpack out now it's called kill confirmed enemies you kill drop a trophy on death collecting trophies provide both a short and long-term buff the first of which scales with the number of core attributes equipped and last 10 seconds so we have red will give you five percent weapon damage so depending how many red cores you have that can add up right and then you have blue 20 percent bonus armor and then five percent skill efficiency now also you get for every trophy collected you get an additional one percent weapon damage one percent skill efficiency and then 0.1 percent armor regeneration for 300 seconds now this max stack is up to 30 but that could be up to 30 percent extra weapon damage this is crazy just right there but then you're also going to get um the 10 seconds from kill confirmed depending on how many you pick up so um based on your weapon damage so this off the bat is probably going to be one of those backpacks a lot of you guys probably will start to use something like we might have seen back in the day when we used to all run a ninja bike backpack in division one that is what we probably will see here so not only does this backpack look good i think it's going to perform really well and let's take a look at how this works what those little trophies look like when you have this backpack equipped. So let's get into some gameplay. So let's see what do those trophy little um, symbols look like when you get a kill. So here it is right in front of us. You see it looks like, I want to say like almost like a little house. When you kill it, they drop it. And as you pick it up, that's when you start to build those stacks. And remember, depending on how many you have, right? That's going to help out how well this performs. And then that is just for the second the, the, the long-term buff but for the short-term buff just once you pick one up that's based on how many core attributes you have so you you really could be putting out a lot of damage depending on how much like depending on how much um core attributes you have and then how many enemies you can kill because the more you kill the stronger you are going to get but with the short time i was able to play with this backpack i want to say it's probably going to be one of those backpacks that a lot of us will start to add to our build and i want to tell you so far um out of the first two exotics i got to play with the first one which we showed you the backfire and then the momentum the backpack i had a lot of fun playing with these and it didn't stop there we have a third exotic that is coming and this one was actually a lot of fun too so the third and final exotic we are getting with title update 11 is a chess piece yes we got another exotic chess piece called ridgeway's bodyguard now this one says, I give an order, you follow it or you don't, but don't think for a goddamn second that I won't have your ass strung up for disobeying it and General Ridgeway. Now this comes with um, a core attribute of weapon damage and then critical hit chance, critical hit damage, and then an empty gear mod slot. So I'm not sure what is going to be fully maxed out on this, but this is the roles that this piece had, God old, right? Now, what's really nice about this one is the talent called Bleeding Edge, damaging enemies within 10 meters applies a bleed to the target. Now, when you do apply that bleed, it repairs for 1% 1, 1 to 25% for your armor per second based on the number of enemies within 10 meters that are bleeding. So we have one enemy is going to be 1%, two enemies is going to be at 4%, then three enemies is going to be at 9%, four at 16%. And then if you can get five enemies bleeding at once within that 10 meters, that's 25% um, repair that you're getting to your armor. So how efficient is this talent? Well, we're gonna take a look at it. Um, this is one of the talents that I was trying to figure out how could I make it work best, right? Because if you kill the enemy too quick, well, you won't really get the repair, right? But if you're able to bleed them um, and leave them bleeding, then that's going to help you out in the long run. So depending on how hard the content is and how hard you actually hit, that could really um, play a big part in how efficient this is. So I, you can see I was putting bleed just to test it out. You'll get the little bleed symbol once you're within those 10 meters, right? So that's already really cool, right? You need to... I imagine if you can pair this up with something like Creeping Death, if those two would um, work together, that might actually be really cool talent to run with this one for the fact that you could spread that bleed and you could start to get that nice chunk of healing back. 
but another thing I did notice is depending on what um, level your content is you might just kill the enemies way too quick to take advantage of it but overall it was still a really cool chess piece and I think with the right build with the right content it's actually gonna be really good but yeah those are the three new exotics coming to the division 2 let me know what you guys think about these um, I think these are great additions and definitely going to be some of the better exotics that we currently have. Let me know what you guys think. I'm going to wrap up the video here. I will see you guys in the next Division 2 video. But until then, nothing but skills is out.